Welcome back to Star City News. I'm Tommy Rezach. Well, the wait is over on who Nebraska's next starting quarterback will be, at least for the time being. Nebraska head football coach Mike Riley announced on Twitter late Wednesday that junior Tanner Lee is the team's top quarterback after spring evaluations. Riley tweeted Wednesday that, quote, we met with the quarterbacks and explained the importance of defining a starter at this time. Tanner Lee is our top quarterback heading into the summer, end quote. Riley also tweeted this yesterday, our quarterback competition this spring was outstanding. That talented group will continue to push each other and provide a bright future. The quarterback competition will continue when fall camp starts in August. Riley said in a brief interview on the Husker Sports Network Wednesday that he didn't want there to be drama at the quarterback position when fall camp begins in August. Riley will be on the network tonight from 7 to 8 to answer questions about the quarterbacks and much more. You can listen to Coach Riley tonight on Huskers.com or on your favorite Husker Sports Network affiliate. The Nebraska baseball team hits the road this weekend for a crucial series with the best team in the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Minnesota is 22-10 and 10 on the season and has won eight of its last ten games. The Huskers, meanwhile, have lost three of their last four but still sit fourth in the Big Ten standings. Nebraska coach Darren Erstad said after Tuesday's 5-2 loss at Creighton that he takes sole responsibility for his team's recent struggles. I'm the hitting coach and, and we haven't hit and I've got to figure it out quickly because it's, uh, it's not good right now. Very, very inconsistent. Uh, our approach, which we do a lot of stuff with, I haven't been able to get the message across and that's on me. So I got to get better at my job. The first game with Minnesota starts Friday at 6.30 p.m. and will air on BTN+. The Nebraska volleyball team has its only match of the spring season this Saturday. They will play Colorado State at Kearney High School. The match is set to begin at 3 p.m. Tickets sold out in less than half an hour. The Huskers will have an open practice at Kearney High on Friday evening from 6 until 7.30 to accommodate fans that could not get tickets. The players will sign autographs after Friday's practice and after Saturday's match. Nebraska volleyball coach John Cook told reporters after practice yesterday that he's been pleased with the effort of the players during the four-week spring season. Nebraska also recently finished its fifth season of beach volleyball. Coach Cook says having a team play on sand is a good cross-training activity and recruiting tool. Switching gears to Major League Baseball, Giants at the Royals last night. Madison Bumgarner, the Giants ace, on the bump for San Francisco. Bottom five, two out, runner at third, and Mike Moustakis rips an infield single to Giants first baseman Aaron Hill. Moose slides in safely, and that allows Paulo Orlando to score 1-0 Royals after five. To the bottom of the eighth, same score, and here's Salvador Perez hitting a single to shallow center. That scores Eric Hosmer from second. The Giants notch only four hits, and the Royals win 2 to nothing to split the midweek series. Series finale between the Brewers and Cubs from Wrigley Field. The Brewers got off to a quick start in the top of the first. Travis Shaw here squares on a pitch and belts a two-run blast deep to right field. Puts Milwaukee up 2-0. 4-1 to one Brewers in the bottom of the sixth inning, but Wilson Contreras sneaks a single down the right field line to score Anthony Rizzo. 4-2 to two Brewers after six. Now tied game, bottom of the ninth, two outs. Runners at second and third, and Addison Russell for the win. Blasts a three-run walk-off bomb into the stands in left center. Cubs are back above 500. They win 7-4 to four to take two out of three in the series. Looking at the NBA playoff picture tonight, the Cavs are in Indy to face the Pacers. Cleveland looks to take a 3-0 series lead. In Milwaukee, the Bucks host the Raptors in a series tied 1-1. Finally tonight, the Spurs are in Memphis to try and take a 3-0 lead over the Grizzlies. Final scores from last night, the Wizards took down the Hawks 109-101. Russell Westbrook and the Thunder trail in their series 2-0 after Houston's 114-111 win. Westbrook had a game-high 51 points as a part of a triple-double. James Harden dropped 35 for the Rockets. The Warriors also took a 2-0 series lead, thrashing Portland at Oracle Arena 110-81. Steph Curry had a game-high 19 points. In the Stanley Cup playoffs last night, Anaheim beat Calgary 3-1 to sweep that series, and the Chicago Blackhawks face possible elimination tonight in Nashville, taking on the Predators. Nashville holds a 3-0 series lead, and one final note today, 2017 NFL schedules released for all 32 teams. Seth and Leanna, back to you.